particularly for kids, it can spark a fascination with science. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Dorchester tonight. Christina, what do the kids there think about what they saw? Oh, they're going to be talking about this for a long time to come. Dozens of very energetic, very excited kids out here all throwing their enthusiasm into the view up there. There was some shade. There was a hush in the sky above. Definitely not a hush out here, though. It's getting brighter and brighter. Getting smaller, smaller. Talk about taking the learning out of the classroom. Like this little corona. And this is a lesson for a lifetime. Since the moon has just like happened to be at the exact spot to cover the sun, maybe there's a little bit something mysterious involved. For students at the Conservatory Lab Charter School, our 93% solar eclipse did not disappoint. I'm staring at the sun! The sky kind of looks dark and orange at the same time, so that's what I see. Like, I just think it's like, really cool and fascinating to see how, um, you know, the moon overlaps the sun. Living up to expectations that couldn't possibly have been more hyped. A dragon puppet chasing the sun. See how it gets smaller and smaller? This is the sun right here. It's a reflection. A giant projection box to watch as the world goes kind of dark. It might be the only time these kids get to see it in New England in their lifetime. No matter, even if it's a scientific, confusing thing, we can all come together and have um, a community experience that is, the memories are going to last them forever. I'm just in the space! And now they all have the glasses as a souvenir to go along with the eclipse tales they can tell. Oh my God, it's getting so small! For years to come. Total! It's total! So for me personally, this was a chance to go from four eyes to six eyes. For the kids out here, a lesson you can't get from any book or any classroom, and more importantly, what fun we all had. Live in Dorchester, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Experience that with them, what a gift. Christina, thank you.